Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 22, verses 31 and 32. That's Luke chapter 22, verses 31 and 32. It reads, And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had a desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Today I want to talk about your failure is not final. Your failure is not final. Jesus is on his way to Calvary Cross and he's speaking to, to Simon, Simon, which is Peter. He's speaking to him and not only to Peter, he's speaking to all of his disciples. Of course, he's speaking to you and he's speaking for me to me. He says, Satan has a desire to sift us out as we. Satan has a desire for us to fall. He has a desire for us to fail. That was his desire in the beginning and certainly that was his desire. Uh, that's his desire now. But God also has a desire. God also uh, uh, made provision even for our, our failure. Even in Genesis when we see the fall of man, God had already made provision. Jesus Christ himself is a, a lamb of God far damned before the foundation of the world. Jesus said, I prayed for you. I've already passed 10, prayed for you. I prayed for that fall. I prayed for, for that failure. He says, I pray, pray that your faith fail not not even though you may have failed, I want you to know, I pray that your faith fail not. Therefore, your failure is not final. He says, when you are converted, once you repent, he says, now, I, I, as a saints of God, I want you to strengthen your brother. He says, I, I, I'm talking about the saints of God. All of us have fallen. All of us, even after being saved, even after being uh, born again, we've all failed. We've all uh, uh, made mistakes. We've all fallen. And, and, and some of us are in the state of falling this now. Uh, listen, the book of Proverbs 24 and, and 16, it's a book of wisdom. Wisdom is not a, uh, it's, it's applied information. Once I've got that word, which is knowledge, then I need to apply uh, uh, that word into my life. I need to make it applicable. And this, this is for those who have fallen. He says, a just man falleth seven times and he get back up again. Your failure does not have to define you. You can get back up again. And when you are converted, he says, I have an assignment on your life. He says, I want you to take that failure now and I want you to use it to strengthen thy brothers. I pray today for you and your family. I pray God will bless you real good, that he will smile upon you, be gracious unto you and give you peace. That's my prayer for you and your family today. Your failure is not final.